Hey guys, Logan here uh, with another video. Today I'm showing off a customized item. Now I have already filmed and demoed and everything this item in his original state. So now I want to show off my new take on him. This is the 2021 animated uh, Halloween Scarecrow that was sold exclusively at Big Lots and was made by Techie. I have him on silent. Um, he's working just fine. I like him on because he's really cool. Um, and I did a lot of work on this guy. And I got it done pretty quick, which is really surprising with the amount of work I've done. And I really just want to show it off to you guys. First and honest, thing I did is I gave him straw. He had no straw on him. I put straw on the hat. A little bit in the collar. A lot on the cuffs under here there there's some on this pole none on the other because that was really difficult then did some strands hanging down um, and then he does have some kind of poking out of the holes um, that's the first big thing I did second thing I did was I distressed the jacket this is the original jacket I distressed it a lot can't really see. Like, if you look at the sleeve, come down here. This was just like kind of cutting the little triangles that companies usually do. You know, it makes me look distressed and old. And I did a lot more. Then I stained it. You can see the staining all along it. Some parts are darker, some parts are lighter. Um, you can see the staining up on the sleeve. Uh, but a lot of distressing. It's a lot harder to see in this lighting because I am in my living room. But like, you know, I want to look. He's been out in this in a field for a really long time. But I really went through. I took a serrated knife and I was dragging it along uh, this this outfit for a while. About probably about an hour or two. Um, and then I washed it. You wash it thoroughly and then um, stained it while it was a little wet too. So the staining did this and then it was dry up here. You can tell because this is like black. It, I used watered down acrylics for the staining. You can see more patches from the distressing. I like the sleeve on this one. I did this. I did. I distressed this one more than this side on purpose. You can see the straw is distressed more too. And then, yeah, you can see more of the staining. Um, I stained this a little bit. It's really hard to see. It's not that noticeable. The burlap kind of just washed all out. I darkened the paint job on the head and in the mouth. I went over with black acrylic. You can kind of see the darkening in the eyes. Um, I darkened the lantern. I mean, it looked dirty, like it, had, like it had oil and smoke in it. Um, the straw on this hand is a lot thinner and sparse out on purpose. It want to make it look like the straw had been falling out since this arm moves. And that arm is still tied to the post. So that's why this one is a lot more um, sparsed out compared to the other one. He does not have a full head of hair on like a lot of scarecrows. I just want to make it, like a, make it look like a lot had fallen out over the years. But it's kind of randomly placed. Um, he has some random strands that I pulled out of his chest. I did this because he can kind of see through it. So I just hand tied a bunch of straw. And then I pulled some out so it could hang down. And then in the chest too, because it does hang down pretty low, I pulled out of the openings. You can see there's some holes too. Uh, the holes are accident, like we're done on accident. I mean to poke holes in it. Um, yeah, I took out the black fabric. I thought I was gonna put it on originally, and I did. Then it was just too much with the straw, and it it hit a lot of this distressing. Um, so I took it off. I didn't like it. Um. I might go back and darken some of the straw later. 
but that's gonna be a lot of work. And then I realigned this so it hangs in the middle. The arm does hit it a little bit, but that's okay. I fixed the sleeve. The sleeve of mine was all twisted up. It was like this when I first got it. I fixed that. I took off the whole shirt. My shirts aren't meant to come off. I should mention that. They're all like glued in and stuff. So I had to take off a lot of glue. It was not easy, guys. Um, and then I re-glued it shut and fixed that. And yeah, I mean, this looks, this looks a lot better. Uh, so yeah, this is my customized um, Lantern Scarecrow. I'm pretty happy with this guy. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I showcase more uh, customized props, leave a comment down below. I do a lot of uh, customization and work on these props. Uh, I wanted to do a lot of work on this one in particular because this is going to be like the front runner prop. And I really wanted this one to look really creepy and kind of disheveled and really set the, the tone for the haunt. I really like kind of the dangling straw. It's, it's kind of like his entrails are hanging down. It's really, it looks a lot better. I'm really happy with this. Um, but yeah, that's really it for this guy. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think about him? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? You know, if you got one of these guys and you wanted to change them up, what would you do? I'd be curious to hear. And yeah, that's all from you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.